James Ford is along the route on the Upper West Side with a PIX11 exclusive, James. And specifically, it was here at 65th and Central Park West along the parade route yesterday that somebody was throwing you know, this. Take a look, it's just regular confetti. Looks harmless, right? But one group of young people ended up getting hit by some confetti that looked and said something very different than just this. And what that confetti said disturbed them so much that one of them took action. Among the crowds at the Thanksgiving Day Parade was this young man, Ethan Finkelstein, and among the floats, balloons, and marching bands, somebody threw confetti. Sounds harmless, but a piece of it stuck onto the coat of one of Finkelstein's friends. It landed on her shoulder. She looks at it, she picks it off her jacket, and it says SSN, and then there's a number, and it's, you know, written like a social security number. And we were like, that's really bizarre. It looked like this. We've blurred out the social security number and other information, but it made the college freshman concerned, so he and his friends picked up more. There are phone numbers on it, addresses, more social security numbers, license plates, numbers, and then we find like all these incident reports from police. In fact, some of the confetti strips mentioned arrest records and had official police reports. This was really shocking. It says about 4.30 a.m. a homemade pipe bomb was thrown outside a home in the King's Grant area. A closer look showed the documents were from the Nassau County Police Department. That's part of its official emblem there. There was even information about Mitt Romney's motorcade, apparently from the final presidential debate in Nassau County last month. And most important, the confetti identified detectives, some apparently undercover, with their social security numbers, dates of birth, and other highly sensitive confidential information that we're concealing. I just completely in shock that, well, how could anyone have this type of sensitive information? Um, and why is it being shredded and being distributed at the Thanksgiving Day Parade? That's what we wanted to know as well. Nassau County Police told us they're very concerned and are launching an investigation, as well as reviewing how they dispose of sensitive documents. And what you see here, according to the organizers of the parade, Macy's, is their official confetti. It's just little punched out pieces of paperboard. So they say that those confetti strips that you saw there, which appear to be police documents that were shredded and then used as confetti, well, those must have come from some source other than Macy's, according to the Macy's organization. Because of our report, this investigation has been launched and continues now. Reporting live from the Upper West Side, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News. Jody. The latest on a PIX11 exclusive, police documents with confidential information used as confetti in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. You saw it here first. And now Mike Gilliam is live on uh, Central Park West with the latest on that. Mike? That's right there, Craig. It all went down right here on Central Park West. People sitting around here uh, watching the parade, lining these streets, suddenly found that confetti that was raining down on them uh, carried a surprise. They looked at it more closely, and now what they found on that confetti has sparked an investigation. Two Nassau County detectives spent about an hour talking to Saul Finkelstein and his son Nathan about what they discovered at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Shredded Nassau County police documents, including social security numbers, arrest records, names of detectives, and even a mention of presidential candidate Mitt Romney's motorcade being tossed around as confetti. It's so strange that we're standing there and this paper's everywhere and all you have to do is lean over, pick, down, pick up a piece, and there was something strange on it, like a social security number, a name, a license plate number, a description of some kind of crime or incident and it was just everywhere. But how did it end up at the parade? Saul and his son called PIX11, and our James Ford went to work and put the puzzle together. James Ford and his team, when they were here, they started looking at it, and within minutes, they came up with this theory that there was some reference to Nassau County Police Department, there were addresses in Nassau County, and they just, right there, right in front of us, they came up with the theory that this must be Nassau County police records that were not destroyed correctly. 
Uh, good work by James Ford. Nassau County Police are telling us that they are continuing their investigation and they are also reviewing how they dispose of sensitive documents. On the Upper West Side, Mike Gilliam, PIX11 News, back to you guys in the studio. All right, here with more information on this developing story, James Ford, who broke it down for us on Friday. All right, James, this case is still unfolding. What do we need to know here? Well, what we need to know here is how, how did this get there, yeah. right? And that's what the Nassau County Police are trying to figure out right now. Uh, they have methods, proper methods, of disposing of sensitive documents in a secure way. But the question is, how did this secure way go wrong in this case? Because clearly it went wrong. Yeah, you were, we were talking about it. How were they able to get the confetti? Because it was my understanding that Macy's actually gives confetti to uh, the clowns or other people who are actually walking the parade route. So this is obviously a separate bag, maybe? As far, or? As, as, far as we know, yes. I mean, here's the thing. Macy's official confetti mm -hmm. is colored. It's uh, punch out pieces of paperboard. Okay. So they're small circles, other shapes that are in colorful bags that people along the parade route, people in the parade, on the parade route, throw. This was different than that. So where did it come from is the big question. And this stuff was highly sensitive. I mean, I saw it with my own two eyes. Yeah. And we're talking names of undercover talking detectives, numbers. their social security numbers. Uh, very sensitive information identifying law enforcement officers who need to stay undercover. So it was amazing. right there. It's amazing this story fell into the lap here at PIX. Why, why did this family call PIX? They called PIX 11 News because they, they happen to be watching PIX 11 News. Sure, great. Fans, but they were, they were watching an entertainment show on our air, saw some uh, promotions showing how we at PIX 11 News care and that we investigate. Right. And uh, the father here, Saul Finkelstein, uh, told his son, who had gathered all of this confetti, he said, you know what, Ethan, you should call the news department at PIX 11 News. And he did. They're going to get to the bottom of this. They'll figure out where this is from. They had no idea where this was from and thought it might have been Macy's employees or uh, something not related specifically to law enforcement. Yeah. We looked at the material right in front of us, uh, Paul Rosenberg, my photographer, and I, and we were like, well, wait a second. There's some really telltale signs here. This is police information and... This is from the Nassau County Police Department. So you were able to piece it together right there. Listen, you did such good detective work that, in fact, it <laughs> was brought through on other national outlets. So, you know, it went from this local story to this amazing big story that was broadcast nationally. So yeah, it's gone big. Yeah. But the, the, ho the hope of the family is, with a spotlight shown on this from us yeah. that's broadened to other media, that an answer will surface immediately. Really quickly, you're going to be working in this story all throughout the day. What can right. we expect or what are you working on? Now? Well, we're, we're, we're hoping to hear from some of the officers whose names were in there. Oh, wow. We're not going to name anyone because they are... You know, we, we, confidential. We, right. It's yeah. confidential. We respect that confidentiality. Nonetheless, a reaction from them and hopefully we'll have some new traction now that the Nassau County Police Department is on this thing. More from them. Thank you very much. James Ford. Tonight, we have an explanation of how that highly sensitive confidential police information landed in the laps of spectators at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's a story we broke, and now James Ford has exclusive new details. I just completely in shock that, well, how could anyone have this type of sensitive information? Um, and why is it being shredded and being distributed at the Thanksgiving Day Parade? That question is exactly what the Nassau County Police try to answer now, and the question came from Ethan Finkelstein, a college freshman who went to PIX11 News for help after he found shreds of confetti at the parade that contained highly sensitive information like this. There are phone numbers on it, addresses, more social security numbers, license plates, numbers, and then we find like all these incident reports from Police and police officers' names, badge numbers, even banking information were also on the shredded paper confetti. A PIX11 investigation quickly concluded that the confidential confetti came from the Nassau County Police Department. And now, PIX11 News is the first to tell you how this snafu happened. It was apparently a blunder by someone in the police department. 
Police sources close to the investigation into the incident tell PIX11 that an off-duty police department employee who went to watch the parade first removed shredded paper from a police facility for his family to use as confetti without realizing that the shredded documents were highly sensitive. They even included information about Mitt Romney's motorcade from when he debated President Barack Obama at Hofstra University last month. This was really shocking. It's the result of a probe launched by Nassau County Internal Affairs investigators who first became aware of the problem when PIX11 started asking questions. Investigators went to Finkelstein's home to collect and analyze the highly sensitive confetti, but only after Finkelstein's father called them. It's so strange that we're standing there and this paper's everywhere and all you have to do is lean over, pick, down, pick up a piece and there was something strange on it. So now the very personal information of undercover detectives and other cops is out there and even though we won't show its details, some of them could have fallen into the wrong hands. We tried contacting some of the detectives whose personal information was among the confetti, but no answers and no comment from the unions representing them either. So the last word comes from the family that found this information along the parade route and did the right thing. Well, PIX really put the whole thing together. And within minutes, they came up with this theory that there was some reference to Nassau County Police Department. There were addresses in Nassau County, and they just, right there, right in front of us, they came up with the theory that this must be Nassau County police records that were not destroyed correctly. So now the Nassau County Police considers getting cross shredders. Those are shredders that shred horizontally and vertically for all of the police units. And speaking of units, we've learned that this confidential confetti came from the police academy. And now the police commissioner considers disciplinary action against this police employee. Reporting from the Nassau County Police Headquarters in Mineola, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.